everybody, we are about to be playing a game of Risk, but this time we are not going to be doing any ordinary game of Risk. We are going to be doing one of the hardest challenges in the world. Now, the thing about Risk is it's not just a 1v1 like chess, so it's not like you can telegraph something to your opponent, and even if they know that you're being cocky or something, it's not like they can do anything about it, so it's just one player playing another. But Risk is a game where psychology matters a lot, and very importantly is diplomacy, because one thing that you're doing in the game of Risk is is you're making friends over the course of 30 minutes or 60 minutes or however long your game lasts. Well, today I am going to be throwing friendship out of the window with the thumbs down cancel alliance challenge. Now, what I'm going to be doing for this is at my very first move, I am going to be offering alliances to every player. And if anybody accepts, I will never communicate with them. But at the end of their next turn, no matter what they did, whether it was nice to me or mean to me, I'm going to give them a thumbs down and cancel the alliance. Alliance. Now, if you're not familiar with how this works, this is going to make everybody mad at me. Nobody is ever going to want to be my friend. And if they ever decide to remake another alliance with me, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to accept, not communicate, and after their next turn, thumbs them down and the alliance. Let's jump into it and see if we can win a game under these conditions. So I have no idea if this is going to work, but we're going to give it a try. The first thing that I need to do before anything actually happens, we gotta make an alliance with literally every single player. Now, some of these guys might not accept, but we will see what happens. And it's just a normal game of classic fixed, definitely nothing unusual. Okay, two people have already accepted my alliance. So I say nothing to green. Oh, wait. No, wait, what? No, no, no. Wait, he's actually hitting me. No, he's hitting everybody. What? Are you serious? Thumbs down. Break alliance. Or what? There's no way that just happened on the very first move. He was he hit other people too, I think, but he hit me the hardest. Wait, that's actually literally the most unfair thing. Red is coming in this way. Orange is smashing some big stuff. I think Orange is getting out. I'm, like, actually kind of toast now. These four are going to die. Red is coming in for Australia. I'm, like, these are going to die. These are going to die. All I have is potentially, like, a couple troops that could possibly live. And Green is an absolute psychopath. It better not be a viewer. It better not be a viewer. Banana, PPP, whatever. It better not. He, he did hit other people too. So like, it is weird that it happened during this challenge. But I mean, oh God, black has accepted. Oh no. So now with black, after black's turn, we need to remember to end the alliance. We don't say anything for a whole turn. All right, yellow's turn. I, Red has accepted as well. Oh, no. All right. Look, I thought the point was going to be that we're actually, like, strong and we had the ability to be nice to people. This is going to end so badly. <laughs> the smallest dream of Europe is gone. Black's getting North America or here. Wait, I actually want whatever Black doesn't want. Oh, my God. This is, We're actually not going to survive. We're actually just not going to survive. I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to knock green because I know green is just going to add and hit me. So I'm literally going to just hit green twice because I hate you. That's my turn. Uh, I'll try to get these guys together as if maybe I can use them, but we're in a lot of trouble. Okay, green's turn. I will hydrate for the chat. We broke the alliance with them. I'm literally one of the strongest. You Sometimes you got to think into the future, okay? What, what continent is a guy like me meant to go to? Did we actually survive that? Maybe we, maybe we are on top. We did get the six to start, which helped a lot. Going in the last position, we get a bunch. So we have to not only survive the fact that we got slammed by the noob at the very beginning. He's now going to bot out, of course. Then, but he, now, after Red's turn, you know what he's going to do? He's going to go for Australia. Then I'm going to thumbs him down and break the alliance. You know what Red is going to think? 
Red is going to think I'm going for Australia, which is not true. It's just a part of the challenge. I like I'm trying. I'm going to my actions are going to be nice and I'm going to stay out of people's way. But my words are going to be mean. So we'll actually get to see what matters more, my words or my actions. And I think, honestly, your the like diplomacy, the what you do with the alliance will matter more than how you act on the board. And since so many people accepted my alliance, everybody but Orange, everybody else is going to hate me. This means I almost need to befriend Orange on the board without the alliance because he might be the only guy we have left. So Green has definitely bought it out. Thanks for playing, bro. Please. But if your name is Banana, I probably never play with you again. General Batnagar is obviously going in. Now here's the problem. This is the problem. Red ends their turn. Thumbs down. Break alliance. <laughs> How does Red get out? Now if he ever offers me an alliance again, I accept and we do the exact same thing. So Red, all he did was he went for Australia. So he must be thinking, that I'm going for Australia, because I added near here. Orange immediately takes this. So we know Orange is probably like a beginner. Sorry, John. I accidentally joined your game. I didn't want it to feel like I was cheating. Okay. Do not join somebody's lobby. Never, ever join somebody's lobby. I accept apologies one time, because I know you're a newer viewer. But that's, that's actual cheating. How about an alliance? I accept. <laughs> At the end of his next turn, I gotta, I gotta do it again to him. You can play Risk. You do, you do not join somebody's lobby. I'm sorry, I accidentally joined your game. Okay, no, it's not a meme. Like, we're not gonna make this a trolley meme. It's actual... You gotta sometimes... This is one thing, this is one time where we're gonna be serious. I'm sorry I accidentally joined your game. Shut. Oh, God. <sighs> All right. How do we play this? Yellow is going into orange. I think North America might actually be an acceptable place. All right. I'm not even looking at chat for like a minute. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a one minute break from even just looking at chat, you know? I'm just gonna try to get all my troops up in this direction. Now, okay, so we didn't have an who does who's next? Green. So green is a bot now. No, green is back. Wait, is this a viewer? I'm actually kind of confused. I think I think we're getting debated by chat. Chat would like an ad break. I think it's an excellent use of ad break. Enjoy this ad time. It was actually you? All right. You'll have to bot out of this game. All right. This is, I mean, it's an important lesson, though, not to join somebody's lobby, which is why I do say it every time before I, I do make a lobby, and I do mean it. And we're doing a very serious challenge today, too, so it's, you know, doubly bad. But if, you know, it leads to more people knowing that you shouldn't join any lobby with anybody you ever know, hopefully we can get a net positive out of it. Because there's... And it doesn't matter if you're going in to help somebody. It doesn't matter if you're going in to slam somebody. You're in some way influencing the game in a way that it's not meant to be. I know that I know that you're brand new, so not, not everybody knows that. But it's it's an important lesson. Cheating is no, come on. We can't make that joke. Cheating is only reserved for the Sinkfield Cup. No, that's come on. We're crossing, a, we're crossing every line today. Guys, this is a serious challenge. <laughs> Come on, don't ruin the only time we're ever going to do this because it's obviously not going to work. Wow, good turn, Red. Guess what? Thumbs down. Break alliance. <laughs> Wait, I actually have an alliance with too many people. Have I not been doing this right? Wait, I've actually skipped a lot of things. Wait, I, I didn't break these alliances, did I? How about an alliance? I accept. 
<laughs> he keeps offering the alliance. This is going to happen every single turn. <laughs> Red might actually be a strong player. You know why? Because, like, you just get over it and offer it again. I think that's actually something a strong player would do. Like, if you're, you know, you'd always, like, give someone another chance. And I haven't done anything to red. I think I'm good with red. Is orange got hit by yellow. Is orange going to bot out? Orange got hit by yellow. Orange is going to bot out because their continent got broken one time. They're not even going to try to take it again. They're not going to just go slam into yellow for retribution. They are going to bot out. And now this bot is going to take Africa. So green is a bot, orange is going to be a bot. I need to remember to break these alliances. I've, I've actually messed up the challenge a little bit. I think I should have already broken with black or yellow. I just think it's, it's better to do it right after their turn as if they had done something. So just if I, if I forget, remind me because I want to make sure we break all these alliances. Wait, he's still there. He's still up there. Why did he say oof? This is a viewer game. It is not a viewer game. This is a ranked lobby game. Black. Okay, after they take South America, we are going to break the alliance with them. All right. Amazing. Guess what? Let me tell you what I really think about your turn after you fortify. I think thumbs down. Break Alliance. Let's see what Yellow comes up with. And then after Yellow's turn, we're going to do the same exact thing. Breaking Alliances is optimal strategy because it allows you to form more alliances. I guess if you view it that way, you could say I'm, I'm the friendliest. I've made the most alliances. Black completely fortified away from me. Look how nice Black's turn really was. I'm actually just going to go hide in here. How about an alliance for now? I accept. <laughs> Wait, I messed up with yellow. Wait. Oh, sorry. Thumbs down, break alliance. <laughs> All right, I broke with yellow. All right. And so Black asks for an alliance again. All right, Green Butt will probably be worth killing on the next turn. I can't do it. Well, Yellow is going to very clearly get these two cards. I don't think this is going to work at all. Every time I break it, people... People always offer me another alliance. It's actually... Maybe it'll work a lot different than we thought. So yellow, the problem is yellow. Yellow might actually have an issue with the fact that I've just broken the alliance and I'm in North America. Wait, what is red doing? Red's going to make the kill on green. Okay. Cool. Grabbing the two cards before yellow can get them. Love it. Now they'll have it out for you. That's the idea. And other than that, we communicate nothing. No well played. Like black, wait, everybody's actually good. I think we're doing this in a good lobby. Black is good. The way they fortified actually shows that they're very nice. Red is offered the alliance multiple times. Red and black are good players. Maybe they'll think I'm a bad player and avoid hitting me. Actual genius. This will work a lot better in a lobby where everybody is good. Rather than bad. If everybody's good, it might actually work. Like, what is this noob doing? Oh, sorry. Thumbs down. Break alliance. <laughs> I just didn't like how you killed green, man. That's not cool. Watch. Let me hover over the accept button. I'm waiting for my my offer here, sir. I don't understand why I haven't been offered an alliance. Okay, three times. That's too much. Okay. I think maybe red is done with me. Maybe he'll think I'm such a noob that I'm like, I have to hit this territory to, to fortify. That he's like, wait. Or wait, or do I leave this here so that he can't kill me? Oh, I got a trade in. If I didn't have a trade in, it's actually maybe I don't hit here because then, you know, red actually would have a line to kill me. 
So in a game of five GMs and one novice, the novice always wins. I think that a novice is insanely dangerous in a lobby of all noobs. But you know who, who is really the most inspirational when it comes to, you know, challenges in the game of Risk? It's Digitalic, but don't let them know I said it. Oh, hey, it's Digitalic coming in with a raid. How's it going? Digitalic is honestly one of my favorite chess content creators. Good to have you. We are doing a very particular challenge today. If you're just joining us, this is the thumbs down end alliance challenge, okay? It is Black's turn. You'll understand the challenge as soon as their turn has been completed. And so far, we're, we're alive. This is probably one of the craziest games. We got noob slammed in, in the beginning by one of the players. And now... Oh, I said he's one of my favorite chess creators. I guess I have not. I guess I guess I haven't seen him play chess, but he's one of my favorite Risk players. So check out Digitalic, uh, both on Twitch and on YouTube. He's got some really good stuff. And today we'll see. Black has finished their turn. Guess what? Thumbs down. Break alliance. This is what we're doing today. Anybody? Every single person that makes an alliance with us, after their turn, we thumbs them down, break the alliance. And so, and then we're just out here trying to survive. <laughs> All right, yellow has taken this. Yellow and orange were fighting. I'm not sure if orange is actually going to bot out. But I think we can now safely get this done. And we don't have any more alliances. All right, everybody is done with us. A lot of people re-upped on the alliances. But I think we're all out now. I don't think I don't think we have any more friends. It's just us versus the world. Now we just get to play the game. We have broken multiple alliances. Orange is the only one we've we've never gotten to do this with. Why not throw some devil faces? I guess that's that could be a that could be part of it. Yo, hot buns in the house. I like to make alliance thumbs down break alliance. If I ever do merch, it'll be that. All right, we're doing the hot buns challenge. <laughs> good to have all the new people. My good friend hot buns in the chat. I always can trust her. She would never hurt me. So we actually got some decent risk players in the building. What do you think matters more? Your actions on the board or the diplomacy element? I think that like actually breaking alliances, or at least I thought coming into this, that it would be like people are actually gonna have it out for me. All right, Orange has actually bought it out. The diplomacy is the most fun part. I think you're more likely to get somebody to slam into you by like ending an alliance and thumbsing them down than by actually putting like a huge stack next to them. But I'm not sure, it, we're testing. This is for science. This might, this might cost us a lot. We're hanging on to our GM title, but there's a rank reset coming. Imagine if we, we threw away so many points here and then, you know, we were what? A master at the next rank reset? Ugh, yuck. But whatever it takes for science. Black actually trusts me and I think yellow trusts me. I've broken alliances with both of these guys and they are not defending their borders whatsoever. Yeah, they reset the rank every like three months. It's way too much. For a guy like me that plays one game of Risk a day, it, it's way too much. <laughs> I'm only going to play one game a day. It's, it's hard to move up the ladder. But look, I've thumbs you down, broke the alliance. Is thumbsing somebody down, breaking the alliance, a sign of like a good gamer? If you thumbs somebody down, break the alliance, are they like, ah, this guy, he's a memer, he gets it, we're cool. Is that what people think? Do you think yellow will guard this border? We'll s All right, we go before red. Ah, uh, they do leave a nine in. Okay, so I am not gonna be able to get my continent. Yellow is actually not gonna let me have North America. Okay, that's fine. So I'm only being like, I broke the Alliance, sure, but I will actually play peacefully. 
You think they're going to judge it based on my board more? I think that's what we're finding out. Because all of this stuff is, seems like completely acceptable. They just think I'm silly. Do you think they, like, but if you had to make a judgment on somebody's rank based on that, I think you would err to like, oh no, this guy is irrational and probably like a, a beginner player. I would guess. When somebody breaks the alliance, I don't go, ah, you silly goose. Yeah, you're being so silly today. Why are you always acting silly? That's not, I'd be like, what? <laughs> what are you doing? Why would you do that? It doesn't make sense. That would be like my reaction. Nobody here has really big stacks. Red is going to make it to the turn in with five. So basically I'm playing like a no continent game because I know yellow is just never going to allow this to happen. So at this point, I got no friends in this world. When you have no friends, you got to keep to yourself. I'm going to be turtling in North America and just hoping for the best. It actually would be crazy to like win. We're only doing this challenge one time. So it would actually be like crazy to win. This seems like a one time challenge. Don't get used to it. <laughs> Let's see what yellow does. I'm going to just like, I'm just, I'm going to be full turtle. Okay. My stack's not going anywhere. I'm not causing any harm. Yellow is going to keep defending this border. Why can't we be friends? What did I ever do? I can't remember what I did. Is there risk etiquette? Yeah, rule number one, don't thumb someone down and end the alliance. It's very rude. All right, we'll keep our stack active, quote unquote active. We'll make it look like we're trying to go for North America. Every turn you hold a continent, you must devil horns and smile. No, wait, no, 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 that's bad advice. Is there castling? There's not castling, but there's one secret rule that nobody will tell you about. And that rule is that you should go to your settings and you should turn your camera animations off. <laughs> That's the secret thing that nobody will ever tell you. I really wish one of these guys would keep allying me so that we could just keep doing the same thing. Oh, tough luck, yellow. Maybe you should have had these 11 troops over there to defend a little bit better. Oh, it's not easy to defend Europe against a bot, but somebody should kill the bot now. Five cards? I mean, come on. Actually, if I was out here, I could actually, like, possibly kill the bot. Black is not going to do it. Yellow should definitely try to kill this bot. Is there on passant? I feel like we've been over this. But last time on Passant, I said, oh, the rule they don't tell you about, it's called camera animations. But I wasted that one on castling today, so now I'm all out of secret risk tips. Ah, uh, castling is a lot like you can go from Alaska to Camp Chatka. Whoa, we're on the other side of the board. <laughs> wow, did that happen? All right, yellow looks like they're just taking this back. They lose four. Okay. Yellow's my only actual enemy, although there's the hidden fear that everybody might be out to get me. You should kill this bot. I, I still stand by it. The bot is going to get to the turn-in. Everybody let the bot live. Why did we let the bot live? I mean, it's not my problem. It's more of a you guys problem but I'm just going to keep going. Is there Bowden's mate? No, okay, let's just, it's there. It's a different game, okay? It's a game based on diplomacy. Okay, red is the only one strong enough. Red, and, red is very strong. Black's also strong. I'm surprised they didn't do it. Red is the one that's actually making all the kills in this game. And red is also the one that offered us like three alliances before giving up. Red is actually very strong. This doesn't chain into anything. Like, they're not going to kill black here or something. They're going to go, like, all the way back. I need North America. I need... But I can't communicate. I think it's fair to take all of this 
and then indicate without saying thanks or anything that I want to go here. Is it acceptable to click on like this territory, click on here a couple times to indicate my desire? Or is that, do you think that would be too much positive communication with another player? This was undecided before the challenge. I think the challenge is I just don't say any of these things. But maybe I can use other ways of communicating. Only if you throw an angry face. No communication. You can. Rules are very unclear here. Look at red. Holy cow. So, but like to show black that I'm actually not going to do anything, I can go pop pop. So that black knows nothing's going to happen. I have no production. I can't do anything. I can't like kill black. I can't do anything. I'm actually very weak now. So I suspect I should get in trouble. I need a continent. Look, I, I, I very, I simply need a continent. All right, it's time to knock red out of here. I don't think this is cheating because I'm thinking about it. I'm just thinking about it. Let's, let me see. 16, huh? Do you think red will kill me? Red's very strong. Do you think yellow will give it to me? I Look how nice I am. Red is very strong. I have to honestly worry about red killing me. They've been killing everybody else. They leave six in, which is interesting. So I think red is saying that they actually want to keep this. They get five. I don't know how black will feel about that. Hopefully black gets angry. Hopefully black says, wait a minute. No, I get this. And then other people actually fight. We're in the good lobby where people aren't fighting. Yellow was fighting a bot. I'm trying to be nice. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. Black is mean to me too. What did I ever do? Oh, wait a minute. All right. So good thing we didn't smash that 11 like an idiot. Black would have just broke us anyway. So I get, I actually get nothing and everyone is actually, wait, this is the part of the game where I don't get hit and I use diplomacy and you guys all love me and we get to, I get to take this and you actually fight red instead of me. It feels like something's different here. I don't like this. I made too many enemies. Well, but I was memeing guys. I didn't really mean it. That's so weird, because Black was nice to me for a long time. What we're counting on is Red getting very strong. I think... <laughs> I mean, I'm basically... I, I'm dreaming of getting second here. Because I'm dreaming that, like, Red wins this game, and I can just... I can stay out of the way. Yeah, I, 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 don't, get, I don't get North America at all. Wow. Can I kill Yellow? Absolutely not. Look how much... Look how many troops these people with continents have. This is unbelievable. I can't, I can't believe nobody's being nice to me out here. Yellow and bad are, black are just bad? No, I think it's, it's very correct. I, I accepted their alliance, thumbs them down, and broke the alliance. And then they denied me the bonus. I don't think that's bad at all. Time to no card? Wait, we could no card in Japan. Try to make sure we get at least second. <laughs> it might not turn out that way. Are these guys so good that they could actually team up on me because they all hate me? Red, yellow, and black. Imagine I'm in Japan. They just take turns hitting me a little bit. It's possible, but come on. Who could work together that well? I think we need. we do need to stay out of the way. We actually might go for the no cards. I don't really have any friends. Taking cards is dangerous because red is good and will kill us at some point. Yellow, wait, but yellow is fighting red. Ooh, wait, an interesting wrinkle. Yellow says, no, you can't have that. Ooh. 
This is for Arco. Those that know will know. Those that don't have a lot to learn. But I just, I hope Arco is proud of me somewhere. Next challenge should be to see if you can get second without ever taking a territory. This has been confirmed insanely possible. If you don't know Arco, he, at least for a long time, he got to master by never taking a card, ever. He did exactly that. He would play with capitals. He would cap in Japan. He would do manual setups so you could literally pick so that he could always pick Japan. And he got all the way to master, never taking a card. So the system is kind of broken in that if you do just this, you should be able to get second every time because nobody should theoretically ever hit me. Now, you could get into a lobby where everybody's actually good and they say, that's not cool. I'm going to send 10 troops into you. Yellow sends 10 troops into me. Black sends 10 troops into me. And that you get eliminated. Like, it's theoretically possible. But I won't gain ELO from getting second place. But all things considered, it would be a good result. I basically think of second place as my rating, like, not changing at all. Sometimes it goes up very slightly, goes down, like, a little bit. And the higher you are, the more it impacts you. But for me, it's like, it's like passing. It's like the game didn't really matter, but, it, you know, at least we didn't really lose too much. I got a par out on the golf course for that day. But to actually improve, I got to get first place. So I'm always going for first. But when you get into a position that, you know, at this in this time it was self-inflicted. When you get yourself into a tough jam, <laughs> you can always run the no card gambit and hope for second place. And we actually wait. Is yellow going to keep fighting red? Wait, you guys are right. Wait, black's not as good as I thought they were. Yeah, it's like a draw in chess. Sometimes you go up or down depending on the elo of your opponent, or in this, in the case of risk, your your opponents. If everyone is like a grandmaster or expert plus, I will actually go up a very small amount for a second. But if everyone's like a beginner, I'll go down. But really, I'm always thinking of first place, which I think is something that kind of changes around the master to grandmaster level in risk. When you're around there, like to get the master, just get second place like every game and you'll, you know, play for like guaranteed second places and you'll get there, which is kind of like unfun and lame and boring, but it, it will, it will work. It'll be effective. But then the big switch when you want to be like a grandmaster is you got to like win. <laughs> oh, what? Win? I would never. Yo, what? Wow. You guys are the worst. Wait, red is... Huh. We're in this game. We're actually totally in this game. It might be very sensible to take cards. Yellow just smashed a ton. Black is denying bonuses. The difference between chess and risk is that in chess, it inevitably leads to once you're a very strong player, it becomes time to play the Berlin. You can do aggressive stuff first and then and then play the Berlin later in your career. However, when you're a risk player, you can Berlin first to get to where you want to be, but then you got to be at, at least a, yay, an alliance. And then you can learn to be more aggressive later, hopefully. If you're a grandmaster that always is passive when you have a good position, look, I'm not going to talk about my position. I'm in a bad position. But when you're a grandmaster and you have a good position, you should like just be aggressive and progress the game. I have a friend, finally. I'll never betray you. We've been working so well together this whole time. Unlike everybody else. All right, so we got to remember to actually do something after Red's turn. I should almost take cards. Almost. Can I break the alliance when it's his turn? The rule has been, I offered everybody an alliance at the beginning. I always accept, I never communicate. And then when they, at, at the end of their turn, no matter what they do, thumbs down, break alliance. No matter what he does. So red is wiling out on black. Yo, everybody is gonna actually fight. I might actually win this game. I, I could take it. Take Asia. Well, you can't. I'm in your way. 
Are you trying to take Asia? I don't know. Thumbs down, break alliance. <laughs> Is he going for Asia? Because I should let him have it. I can't tell if he's going for Asia or not. He left a nine here as if to say that he is, right? I could move everybody in, but it's kind of risky. Wow, is black gonna trust yellow? Wow. Okay, so you're not getting Asia. I did just break the alliance. That was the fourth time I've broken the alliance with red. Let's see if yellow lets black take that. There's a chance that yellow breaks black because they broke Africa before. Why would you not do it now? And here they're defending against the biggest stack. This is always like a not good idea. Maybe they're just defending all the borders. Yeah, risk is kind of risky. I have noticed that. Huh. So yellow is okay with black doing this. It's still not cool for me to have North America and it never will be. But you guys are both fighting red. In a real game, I would actually love to help red fight some of these guys, but I can't actually communicate. I've lost my ability to like actually work with red. I've identified that red might be the strongest player on this board. And I actually would like to work with them to help these people, but I can't use an actual alliance to do it. My actions can say I'm willing to do whatever you want to do. If I were yellow, what would I do? I would make a giant stack in the Ukraine. I would trust black. I'd make a huge stack in the Ukraine. I would not have anything near this 66 because if black decides to break you, they're going to hit a 30. I'd rather you just hit a one and then I can counter strike from like the Ukraine, which is just a good, it's just a good place to be. Cause if you're looking for a kill potentially on red or blue or black in the future, having everybody in one stack now would be good. How long before you request another Alliance? I never do. I sent them all a, a request at the very beginning of the game. Four of the five opponents accepted. I've broken all of those alliances. 69. I thought of taking a card. But then I thought, 69. Let's just, that, how, how bad could it be? And we're banking on the fact that there's going to be tension between these players. They've all hit each other. But there's also a world where they're all like, bro, we all kind of do hate you. Let's work on you. I will not. So I'm actually trying to win the game. I'm not trying to full threaten anybody. I'm actually trying to win the game. I think this is, I think what I'm doing is the best. The problem is when yellow and black take out red, let's imagine this. How, how do I operate in a world in which yellow and red, or sorry, yellow and black exist and I'm just doing this. Can I exist in that world? So these two are friendly. So I think I just lose end games. Also, I can't communicate. So I'm counting on them to actually fight each other. This is why alliances are important. If I had a good relationship with these players, not only would I probably have a continent right now, I would also, yo, wait, they hate each other too. Never mind. This is going to be the easiest game I've ever won. Look at these noobs. We'll leave the 69 for now. I almost don't want to take cards just so that I'm like inactive and nobody bugs me, but I also don't want to add any more to a 69 because what's the humor in that? Okay, red is double hitting. Leaving a bunch in the Middle East. So risky. The sad thing is what red should do is make an alliance with me and work against these guys. But every time he makes it, I just break it. <laughs> He's like, oh my god, I gotta, I gotta fight these two guys by myself. I think Red wants Asia. Like, this is... Red wants Asia, right? Maybe I do put this stack in here. Do you think? 
Do I put my stack in here? I like being next to red for the world in which there's a, a potential kill. Green, or sorry. So black here had the option of hitting me or yellow chooses to hit me. You could argue that he's not opening this stack. Wait, this is weird. Okay, no, this is black saying you absolutely do not get to come back in. Okay, okay, okay. Black is 100% saying, no, you're not coming back in. Show. Who is yellow hitting? My three? No. Yellow's fighting black. <gasps> I can help card block black, can't I? I can do this. Are we card blocking black? Okay, watch this. I go here. I hopefully get one more card. Take it, bro. Take it. Take it. I'm not going to break Asia for sure. You're my homie. I can't. Urgh, I can't. I can't do it. But dude, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. I know. Look, I know we've had our ups and downs. I know that we've broken four alliances thus far. But trust me, bro. That's all yours. Yo, I got Thomas into risk. It was worth it. Every video just to get Thomas in. I'm glad to hear it. I actually really appreciate all the chess players that are like, hey, you got me into Risk. It's very cool. Ah, Black is running away. I'm happy to no card here and deny Black cards. Let Red take Asia. Let's see if he does it. So Red, like if he takes this and I don't break Asia, not that I would get the opportunity because somebody else will break him. You got to believe. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. We get to do it again. Thumbs up. Yeah, thumbs up, bro. So I don't communicate with him at all. I don't thumbs him up. I don't I don't give him anything. At the end of his turn, thumbs down break alliance. No matter what he does. Red would be card blocked. All right. I'd be card blocked in Asia and Australia. That sounds like a good deal. Yellow opens the stack to me, threatens me. Who knows what yellow's gonna do? Here's my turn. I'll go here, whatever. Just keeping my stack open generally. It would be great to have a turn in so I can no card again. I've been working a little bit too hard. I'd like to take a break from playing the actual game. Red goes into black. So how is how is Black going to react to my next my next play? Okay, after his turn. Whatever he does, I hate it. I break the alliance. I don't know what you're going to do, but I, I don't like it. So if he hits red, he might be like, what, you don't like that I hit red? Oh, uh, you hit in North America. I didn't like it. And you also are probably bringing everybody out, aren't you? You're going to trust me. Shouldn't trust me. Thumbs down. Alliance. <laughs> But thanks for letting me have North America, bro. So now he's got to be worried that I'm about to smash into South America, but I'm not going to. But he's like, what the heck? Why would the guy thumbs me down, break the alliance? <laughs> Makes literally no sense. Oh, mic clipping. My voice, it's got too high of a, a frequency. When I get excited, I just, I just cannot help myself. What would yellow do if I hit his 17? Yellow's hit some big numbers. I guess I'll just never mess with yellow because yellow's crazy. I'd like to say I'm lurking a kill on yellow, but look how many troops they got. I guess we all have that one friend. <laughs> all right, don't mind me. I'm not doing anything, but like actually... Black thinks I'm crying over one troop. Yeah, possibly. That'll teach you to hit one troop of me. I might be psycho. You don't know when I'm about to explode. Take Asia. Yellow's going to hit you again. Take Asia. All right, you've learned not to stack in the Middle East because yellow will hit them. A somehow balanced game. I also feel like when I'm playing the game for real, I'm usually like I'm trying to unbalance the game in some way. 
But like, since I can't use diplomacy anyway, I have to like, I have to count on other people to mess up the game, which often doesn't happen. I got up to expert level, had a few bad games, later got knocked all the way back to beginner. Yeah, that'll happen. That's all good. <laughs> so Black knows that I didn't hit them in South America, but I guess they always got to be worried about it. I'm never going to do it, but I guess they should be worried about it. Is yellow going to hit black? Wait, yellow has hit black before, but never the other way around. That's, I think that's a true statement. Yellow has broken Africa, but black has never broken Europe. Europe, the, the player with Europe has gotten to keep it the whole time. All right. I'll play the game. I'll play the, I'll play, all right. I'll play a game of risk. And what I actually might do is open this up and go away to show black that I'm never going to hurt them. It does bury my attempt at making a kill on them, but maybe I can demonstrate with my actions that we're actually truly friends. I need my actions to speak louder than my words. Yo, oh, my three, what did I do? I can't remember, oh, yay! Thumbs down, thumbs down. No, thumbs down. Does black want North America? I guess if you'll hit, if you're gonna hit this, you know what, you can have it. So black is defending against me as if I'm gonna do anything to them. Joke's on you. I'm not gonna do anything. But thumbs down anyway, boo. <sighs> Maybe these guys are too scared to do anything because who knows what this psychotic noob might be up to. That's, that's fine. I could be up to anything. And my presence, I think things were going better when I wasn't taking cards in Japan. Maybe that was better. Why not play more interesting maps? Look, this is the challenge for the day. I understand that it's not for everybody. I thought it would be fun to try this challenge one time. Maybe it's not. Risk is, it's gonna start. I feel like one thing that happens, every time I try to do something that I think is like mildly interesting in Risk, no, it never gets as many views. What people want is the same boring game over and over. It's the Optimal Risk YouTube video. What I should be doing is playing Optimal Risk, never doing anything. And then everybody will be like, woo, he's so strong. He did it. He did the same thing everybody else is doing. He just waited for stuff to happen. And other people did stuff. This guy's incredible at risk. Those videos always do the best. Is this for bits? That's up to you guys. There was no, if I win this, you guys have to give me all of your subs and bits, but I'll allow you to start the campaign amongst yourselves. I think most, it's been decided, nah, this guy doesn't even do the same boring stuff that we've come to love from every other YouTube video. He's always doing dubious risk gambits. I'm just happy to be alive though at this point. One bit, let's go. It was all work for top four. Wow, imagine what top three would net me. <laughs> Thank you for the bit. So yellow does hit black. Not every turn, but like enough that black could get really angry. If black went crazy into yellow, my stack would be in the right place for this end game. And red might actually, we, there's a theoretical end game where one, like black just smashes all of this. Probably gets the kill. I can kill black and then go up against red in this end game. That world very much exists. This is gonna be a long video. L the longer and the more boring, the more views. It's a sad world we live in. 
You put out a video, there's blizzards preventing you from getting Europe. You come up with the unusual strat of running through somebody's North America because you got to get this square and then you use diplomacy to work it out amongst yourselves. Nobody cares. You play it, the most passive game of your life, everyone applauds. A lot more boring games to come, okay? It's, it's, it's not my fault. It's what the viewers want. Anything exciting and different and new? We hate that around here, okay? It's fine. It's the way that chess used to be. There used to be this elitist gatekeeping chess community that's like, no, this is how the game is meant to be played. The difference is everybody in the Rus community is actually like nice and probably not that way. So from now on, only 10 hour cap games where I just stack my cap and I refuse to do anything, which actually wouldn't be the worst Twitch content. Because it would just be me sitting here talking. You know, it's just like there's something in the background while we talk to each other. It wouldn't be the world's worst Twitch content. But you know, it's, some days you got to have a little bit of self-respect when you post stuff on YouTube. Black has never hit yellow. Ever. Some evidence that black is strong is that they've never actually hit yellow. They just keep doing the same thing. Sometimes yellow hits them, sometimes they don't. It's like every other turn. I wonder if yellow is like telling black to do something. Yellow's like, go hit red or go hit blue. And then black is not doing it. So yellow keeps hitting them when they don't do it. You're killing me with this voice? Look, I don't have a voice modulator. This is my voice. I would try using a different voice, but it's the one that I got. I got it at birth, and I still have it. Play the games I want. Play them the way I want them. Talk different. Get out of... <laughs> Can you... Hey, not only... Hey, you risk... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but do it the way that I want you to play Risk. And then talk the way that I want you to talk. Have you seen Kill Pete? He talks so much different than you. It's way better. I like the way that guy talks. <laughs> Talk more like him. He's my favorite. You think the voice fits the flannel shirt? Do I have a, a Ned Flanders kind of vibe going on? If you don't like the voice, what are you here for? Probably the, the incredible. He's the one guy that's actually here for the challenge, but can't stand my voice. <laughs> Somebody's out there. No, I'm actually here for the content. It's just, if, it's just if you could, you could talk more like somebody else. What I want you to play is the way you want yourself to play. You're the rare viewer. Do things that I want, but more of the way that I want them done. Every viewer ever. Ad time? What does this button do? Boy, let me tell you, we're about to run one minute of ads. Some of them are censored. Some of them are not safe for work. But we have just run some ads. The only, only support given thus far. If you don't want to see those ads, make sure you sub. More platform. I should be on more platforms. That way I can get more complaints. One in chat if you're watching a Swedish ad right now. <laughs> there should be no ones because if you're watching the ad, I guess you wouldn't know. Red is also trying to provoke yellow. Like black is going to get mad and that's how this game is going to end. Black is going to like actually hit one of these people. I think. Or maybe they're just strong enough to not do it. Hey, you're getting a Swedish ad? It's everyone's favorite. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. Not you too, Red. Get him. Get Red. Or yellow. Yellow mostly. Go for yellow mostly so I have a chance to beat Red, even though I'm, I'm kind of far behind. It'll work out. It'll work out. Go for it. Go for it. He fell for it. Idiot streamer. Didn't see the massive flaw. How could I be watching the Swedish ad if I'm here in the chat? Gosh, I feel stupid now. All right. 
Black sends a little bit of a message like, hey guys, it's time to stop messing around. I'm not playing anymore. That's how I interpret it, that little pause. I think that's the pause of I'm not, I'm not messing around. You don't want to, I'm not the guy you want to mess with. It was the don't mess with me pause. I guess I'll hit red. I watched 10 ads in one minute. Seems unlikely, but good for me, I guess. Partnered streamer does not have sub icons. Wait, what is a sub icon? What am I meant to have? It's only my second week of full-time streaming. Maybe I, maybe I don't know enough. Maybe you could enlighten me. All right. Red is messing with black a lot and black is getting sick of it. And yellow did not hit black on that turn. Hey, Cameron. I, will black actually get so fed up that they do something? Will they ever do anything remotely different? Maybe not. The problem is we got a lobby with people that are just too strong. The all noob lobby, these guys would have already slammed each other, forgotten about all the silly stuff I was doing, and we would have all moved on. Here we go. Middle East. Let's go. Get a stack there. Don't let them break you again. Send a message. You should have that for a sub emote instead of a star. All right. We'll have to, we'll do a brainstorming stream tomorrow. Red could easily get card blocked. Everyone can take cards in North America and red could get card blocked. I think that's actually a good way to continue the game. But since red's my good buddy, I get, maybe I'll keep helping him. Uh, I wasn't sure that it was going to happen, but it was every other turn. So it was yellow's turn to hit red. Red could lose their mind out here. You got this noob that won't ally with them. <laughs> the guy that always breaks the alliance, thumbs them down. And he's like, bro, we got to fight these guys together. He's got the weak continent, though. Somehow yellow... How has yellow not been hit by black, though? That's the... That's the thing I don't get. How is yellow not getting hit in this, this fray? All yours. All yours. I wish we could communicate. I'd be thumbsing you up, baby. Now I don't hit it. If I take cards in here, I got to be very careful. Or I can move over and let black or yellow do something. Or I could do the unthinkable, take North America. Nah, that's... That's too much. I think I'm just going to not take a card. Or I'll take a card right here. Okay. That helps me out, actually. Thank you, my good friend, black. I hit Greenland. That's... These guys, they're willing to hit big numbers. I'm not going to mess around. We're, we're playing with a disadvantage. I can't just be friendly with them. What if they offer me an alliance? Look, when I start being nice with them, they're going to offer an alliance. And then you know what's going to happen? I'm going to have to thumbs them down, break the alliance. How about an alliance? Yeah, you got it, buddy. Yeah, let's be friends. We can make this work. This time, it'll work for sure. Wait, okay, they're teaming red. Oh, they're teaming red. Oh no, this is actually how I lose. Whoopow! Emlio! Is that say tier three? Is that a tier three sub? I think that's the second ever tier three sub. Yo! Sorry. Imagine having the, the capability to VIP somebody. How's it going? Tier three sub. You're a legend. Perfect. Yep, stop right there. Stop right there. Run some ads to celebrate. No, you gotta you gotta pay. Rosen made you do it. Shout out to Eric. 
What's Eric doing right now? Now I'm curious. He's not even on. I'm glad he made you do it, though. He's not even streaming. Ah! The not safe for work glitch. He did say it a long time ago. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm shocked that you didn't get to keep Asia there. I think Yellow is trying to actually progress the game, and they're like, yo, Black, we got to hit Red. I think Yellow wants, because Yellow went here and then popped like a little bit on red. I think Yellow is trying, Black, like, look, bro, I'm hitting them. You got to hit them. We got to progress the game. So there's only one thing to do in this situation. Your thoughts on my move? I thought it was a good one. Oh, wait, do we miss a Black turn? No, okay, I think Black is coming up. Yellow's a total noob. Yellow's the only one trying to progress this game. <laughs> Beginner maximum. I think Yellow is actually trying to progress the game. And I think he's probably saying, like, God, let's, it's so easy. I go pop, pop, pop. You go pop, pop, pop. And we just hit a little bit to show that we're committed. And then Black he just does the same thing. Is so great. What an amazing game. Uh, that last move, let me tell you about it. I can't handle it. Thumbs down. Break alliance. <laughs> Black's like, well, oh, come on, bro. Times. That's three with Black or is it four? I think Red and I must still have the record. Red and I have broken four alliances, but we're getting close with Black. Black definitely wants to work with me to progress this game because I have actually not done anything bad by them. It would be interesting if on their turn they actually, like, they communicated information. They can still communicate info to me. If they realize that this is going to happen, I'm always going to accept. They could then say something. Like, if Red offered me an alliance, said, attack yellow... And then after their turn, I broke the alliance. I would be like, okay, he actually wants to attack yellow and I could actually help. But it has to be you telling me what to do. I can't tell you what to do. But black could actually be like, attack red, attack yellow. He could communicate during that small period where we have an alliance. It'd be funny if black broke first. <laughs> what are all these players doing? They're only offering alliances when they think it actually makes sense. Tell him to tell you what to do. No, I would never communicate that much information. Information is dangerous. You got to protect it, okay? Sometimes the best thing you can do is when you know somebody has your information is to break that off as soon as possible. It would be funny if somebody thumbs me to make alliance <laughs> and then thumbs me down, break the alliance. Let me know how it feels. Maybe, you know... Maybe if that happened, I would at least know how it feels. They must be on to me at this point. You think they're going, hey, maybe this guy's just doing the thumbs down break alliance challenge. You know that challenge that has never happened ever? Maybe that's what this guy's doing. Take one piece of territory for a card and thumbs down break alliance. I don't get to thumbs down break alliance for taking a territory. That's got nothing to do with it. I, no, I never give out my friend ID and risk. I don't know what you guys are going to do with it. Every time we're playing risk, it's the same as chess. When we're when I'm playing, doing something in chess, it's always, hey, play with me. It's the same with risk. Hey, play with me. Do a viewer game. No, you can't have my friend ID. I don't know what you would do with it. Everybody wants my friend ID. It's actually kind of suspicious. Why do so many people want it? If you want my friend ID, guess what? Thumbs down. I break alliance. I'm on to you. They're going to sell it, right? On the deep interwebs. So you're saying you want to play chess with me? Look, this game has gotten to the point where I almost could play a game of chess on the side, but that's not the challenge. The, the win as many games of chess as possible while playing a game of risk challenge has not begun. The challenge where you actually try to stalemate the game of risk because then you can play more chess. Don't take a card. Don't take a card. Do nothing. Uh, 
I do like how yellow is just breaking everybody's bonus and like nobody is laying into yellow at all. How is it not going to happen? It's 100% going to happen, right? I just don't want to hit, like I want to keep taking cards. I don't want to do it here because then I'm blocking my path on at least one player. I mean, we're all waiting for Black to just go psycho on yellow. And the only question is when he does that, will I be able to kill Black and then also kill Red? It's actually very good that I go after these guys. Black can kill yellow. That's the end of their game, but Black can kill yellow. If I hit a small amount of yellow that you think they'd be up for it? They should communicate that information to me via an alliance. I will give them a window of from when they offer. Look, he loves me. He trusts me. Black wants me to go for North America. How about an alliance? You got it, boss. If he now has this window between now and the end of his turn to say hit yellow. And you know what? If he does, I might actually do it. If he says hit yellow... I actually might do it. Take North America and hit this 30 to help out. Here's his chance to thumb us down. That's the alternative world the chat is living in. This is his opportunity. He wants me to take North America. I would never. <laughs> because taking North America, I'm going to shut down lines somewhere. I mean, I could do something. I could take all of North America and full stack in Greenland. I would never. Is there a map pack that I want, which I don't have? I have gems to buy three or four map packs. I haven't, I haven't settled on anything. I guess not. I'm playing what I want to do. What I want to do is thumbs everybody down and break every alliance. Yellow leaves 32 in. Wait a minute. And now black is so strong, he's not even gonna, he's not gonna do anything. It's maybe bad for the game of Risk if I somehow win this. If I somehow win this game, it, it, it might actually go down as one of the greatest atrocities against the game of Risk in, in known human history. They'll be like, man, this game, you could even, it's, it could become the meta. Everyone's gonna get thumbs down, Alliance broke. You could get East USA now without blocking paths. I can I can take a card here. This is correct. All right, I'll take a card. <laughs> Whatever. This is my turn. Wait, 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 what? Oh, who do I have an alliance with? Black? Oh, I missed it. I missed it. Oh, sorry. Thumbs down, break alliance. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I, what did black do? Like literally nothing? Yo, red's over. Red's over. Wait. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Wait. This might not break the balance. Wait. Oh, no. So it might be totally wrong for black to kill somebody here. Okay. Okay. Black is now the strongest, just, I mean, basically by holding a continent, but not doing anything. I'm kind of surprised that yellow hasn't broken South America. Okay, so yellow is going to take back Europe and break Asia for sure. Black might actually win this game. I think if you're black, you hope to just keep South America outproduce me until these guys beef. Maybe you never take Africa back ever again. Why don't I have a 420 channel point reward? What would it be? What in the world would it be? I mean, I know what chat might say it would be, but like, how would that fit in with the... Anything that's that low too is also very redeemable. Then I'd, you know, have to deal with that. A smiley of my brother? He is a botanist. Did Red just hold Asia? Congratulations. Ah. Uh. Can I take North America for a posture check? I would never. 
You think I can take North America? Change hydrate to 420? It used to be, actually. But you guys, the hydration goes, every time we get a massive spam of hydration, the price goes up. It's called inflation. <laughs> the hydration rewards have gone up over time whenever they happen. You know what else has, like, gone up a lot? Ad redeems. Here's your one minute of ad redeems. How about an alliance? You got it, boss. I'll be friends with you. We can make it work this time. I'm sure of it. Ah, come on, man. I was going to take that territory. How am I going to hit a 14 now? That's just simply too much. My stack is where I want it to be. I don't think hitting this 14 helps me in any way. I don't think there's any way hitting the 14 helps or hitting the 14 and, and keep going helps. All right, Black. My good friend Black here. Let's see what my good friend Black is going to do on their turn. Yeah, 420 used to be a meme, but due to inflation, the new funny number is, is 43. Wait. 420. Wait, there's a funny joke here. Yeah, yeah, 420 used to be the funny meme number, but due to inflation, it's now it's now 438. There was a funny joke there. It didn't we didn't get it off in time. We didn't quite execute the joke. But somebody funnier there can will like will get a million likes on a tweet that's not really that funny. It just won't be me. Thumbs down, bad joke. All right. Or as they say on Twitter, thumbs down get ratioed. All right. Yellow hits the, and does it? Wow, we're letting red get big. I love it. We're letting red get big. <laughs> I didn't miss Black's turn, did I? You had to end the alliance. Did I miss it? I, I'm not paying attention, sorry. Thumbs down. You just got hit? I don't like people that get hit. It's like when, when Trump doesn't like that John McCain, he got imprisoned. Dude, I don't like it when, I don't like it when you get hit. I like, I like people that take continents and stand up for themselves, you know? Anyone that takes a continent and then lets somebody hit them, thumbs down, dude. Just break the alliance. You want to be an ally with a weakling? Not me. Thumbs that guy down. Break. Yeah, you, nobody's breaking me, dude. I'm not taking a continent until I know I'm not going to get hit. And if somebody did hit my continent, I'd expect you to break the alliance. So we're going to let red get big. Red getting big is a mistake by yellow, right? But yellow is now actually mad at black. I think yellow is mad at black for not helping. I also think yellow might bot out, thus completely changing the character of the position. Yo, yellow bots out? I can take North America and defend against this bot. No, we're all competitive gamers. Nobody is botting out. Why would you ever want an opponent to get big? Sorry, I'm dumb. It's not a dumb question. Uh, in my case, it's because I, I don't think I have the capability to communicate with anybody. I think that what would be best for me would be communicating with somebody and probably working against yellow. I would actually work with black to fight yellow because I could just easily hit this 14 and go in, take my continent, get a friend in black. Like, I would win this game by actually keeping friendship with black and attacking yellow. Then I would have a friend that we could then both go up versus red together. We'd guarantee first and second. And then hopefully I'd, I'd be back, back in the game and like, you know, on track to actually get a win. And I could have had, you know, North America a long time ago if alliances were on. Uh-oh. Wait, don't go get your coffee now! Now is not the time to get your coffee! Ooh! Whoop, whoop. Black couldn't take it! Wait, what kind of... What atrocious pathing is this? Ah, uh, they're just not breaking the balance to enough. Black's actually strong enough to not break the balance entirely. Poor Black. How about the Alliance? You got it, boss. Yeah. 
It's about time. I mean, you better be getting that 14 out. I guess you better be getting that 14 out. Huh? I guess you're going to get that 14 out, aren't you? Oh! Oh! Thumbs down! Break alliance! And now act like we're friends. Break alliance? After he finally did the first nice thing that's ever happened to me in this game? We show complete trust, and we see if they hit us. Red retakes their second continent. What would you do if you were yellow and that just happened to you? If you were yellow, the whole time you've been denying me a bonus, as soon as you finally pull out of my bonus, I, for the very first time, you would nuke me instantly? Uh-oh, wait, I did something wrong then. Do you think that I get to keep North America? You'd be confused. So I'm probably never taking a card. I hope I'm no carding now, but with North America, I guess I'm not. People should be mad at me because my style has been insanely ridiculous. But they're not going to hit me. <laughs> they might think that, like, I'm just mad about all the things that happened in the past. Which is probably pretty fair, right? Here, let me, as a token of my, my friendship, let me move that over. Maybe he just, like, I'm mad because of, yeah, the historical precedent. He's like, ah, okay, he's not really going to hit me. He's just mad because I didn't give him North America earlier. But black is never going to hit me. They're, they're strong. I wish I could put my stack somewhere else. No, I think my stack's good. That's probably the best place I got. Here comes the action, you think? That action being red bots out. <laughs> red bots out, and then red kills yellow and me somehow, even though the math doesn't add up. Uh, the classic game of rock, paper, scissors, but it's passive, aggressive, ridiculous. Passive beats aggressive, but ridiculous beats aggressive, but ridiculous loses to passive. A classic game of rock, paper, scissors. Let's go, baby. Knock him out of there. Get him out. Yellow's got to go. Get him. Oh, baby. Look at that. Yeah, the hope is that black kills yellow, but black is strong, so I don't think it'll happen. I think he's got more patience than we're giving him credit for. I think just the way that he keeps, like, attacking but not breaking the balance is very, very nice. It's possible that they will at some point team up on me. This could even be the moment. What is this pathing? What psychotic pathing was that? What is happening? What are they doing? I honestly, I don't get what it's doing. Do you think black said, let's attack blue? For some reason, they might attack me. For some reason. What did I do? Other than refuse to progress the game and break every alliance that I've ever had, what else have I really done, though? Other than that, I've been staying out of the way. They for sure must be communicating with themselves. Taking North America might have been my downfall. Maybe that'll make everyone suspicious and, and hate me. But is it really enough to kill me? And after all you've been through... Yo, if Red bots out... Red's gonna bot out, right? Somebody's gonna bot out. It's just been a long time. Another thing to think about when games go this deep is like, okay, if this player bots out, what's gonna happen? That's something that a lot of people don't think about. Could they be annoyed I'm not breaking red? Yeah, for sure. He's going to hit me? Nope, he's just getting all of his troops back together, getting out of yellow's way. Are you going to take Europe? You are. Huh. 
It would be crazy. I mean, yellow could slam into me. It would be so crazy. I mean, we could be at the breaking point where such a thing happens. All right, black passive turtles in Europe. Let's see what yellow does. Move to South America. Do you see how many troops are in South America? You think I'm... I'm you're, you're, if you're telling me to take South America, you're telling me to kill yellow. Does yellow break me? How much do they do they huge stack against me like I'm gonna break them? Why are you defending against me? I'm the most harmless guy on the board. Take South Africa. Okay, now you're telling me to run through red, I suppose, and then break at least black. I will not be going for Africa. May I, I got my continent? Through the power of friendship, my long friendship with these other players. Maybe, maybe my, my true friendship, okay? I'm the, you know, I'm the kind of guy, I say a lot of rude things at the party. I get a little drunk. Oh, I hate this place. I hate your house. I'm never coming back. But then, you know, at the end of the day, though, we're still friends, right? Like, I didn't cause any actual damage at the party. I was just a bit of a loud mouth. At the end of the day, I'm a guy that really cares, okay? When you have something that's important to you, you got a continent, I'm not the kind of guy that would take that from you. Why am I no carding? What, where would you like me to get a card? I don't know where I would possibly get a card. Would you like me to hit red? Would you like me to hit yellow, hit black? I refuse. It's not ideal to no card on three as opposed to zero, but all right. If you kill 186 troops, I guess you get it. I'm happy that I just have my continent. I'm getting a lot of production. Take it from the card pack. It's not over the board risk. Oh, no, look. Hey, can you go get me something from the kitchen? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just, I left my water bottle back there. Can you go to the kitchen and get it? Hi, yoink, I'm in the pile. Wait, did you really have five cards? Wait, when I left, I thought you only had three. Why does it look like you have five cards? Yeah, no, 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 I always had five cards. You must not have been able to see them. Doesn't work that way online. What is yellow gonna do? They're gonna break me. All right, fair. Hey, move these guys back so I can take a card, would you? I can block black. Black's very nice. He's done nothing wrong to anybody. I would never do that to my good friend black. I actually have like a good relationship with these two. I at any point could communicate with these people, progress the game very quickly. Not me not being able to communicate is actually driving the length of this game up substantially. Because I, the biggest thing about diplomacy is that you can use it, like, immediately. Like, right, bef right at, like, the first turn in. You get a continent, somebody else has a continent, you can both, like, immediately attack somebody, you can both attack. And you can speed the games up so much. But when you can't communicate, it's just, like, I'm just, it's actually just dependent on who we're playing with. Which is my fault in this case, because I'm doing a challenge. Like, I should do more to progress this game, but I'm doing a challenge. What's the challenge? It's the thumbs down break alliance challenge. You'll notice if I've ever, I accept an alliance whenever offered, and at the end of their turn, I thumbs them down and I break the alliance. And as a result, some people have gotten mad at me, and I've also not really done much to help make this game more entertaining. But the real excitement is watching these guys smash each other every turn, waiting for the time that somebody, like, loses it. These guys are very patient. They could be, like, really high rated, but they're going to lose their mind at some moment, and we don't know who they're going to hit. Psycho hit is coming, man. It's coming. I'm actually surprised. Like, I thought after turn one, like, I was in a lot of trouble. I was breaking every alliance. We got noob slammed at the very beginning. Like, 
We've come a long way. These guys, these guys are gonna, these guys are gonna do, I just don't understand why red is so strong. The problem is like we attack people for like a period of time and then we let those people get big. Oh, I don't get a card. Okay. And guess what time it is? It's ad time. Thank you, Risto, for the ad time regime. Enjoy 60 seconds of ads. I will not, you know, YouTube. Here, quick, we got one minute. All of Twitch is watching ads right now. This is our time to talk about Twitch behind their back. You know how much I love you guys on YouTube. I'm not even painstakingly coordinating the ads to line up with the ad time that it that would happen, that would occur if you were watching here on Twitch. Isn't that impressive? I instead have the courtesy to just let YouTube decide how many you should get and trust them. Imagine watching ads. But at the same time, though, there's this really funny Swedish ad. You guys would love it. You'll never see it. But if you do want to see that ad, twitch.tv slash vampire chicken, it's the place to be. But be warned, subs on YouTube, they come for free. Subs on Twitch, five bucks, okay? It's a little bit different over here. It's a different policy. The Swedish ad challenge. How many Swedish ads have you guys seen on today's stream? Who's seen the most Swedish ads? Hey, you're giving me a card. What a good friend. That's so nice. I feel like Yellow kind of wants to progress the game, but is doing it like maybe in the wrong way. How do you watch on YouTube? You go to this not safe for work link, which is a link to Vampire Chicken on YouTube. I appear now to have, have a very strong connection, but Yellow is lagging out. No, what is happening? Yellow is going to bot out. Yellow's had enough. My ad block was on. Yeah, at the next ad break, make sure you turn it off so you can see the Swedish ad. Yellow's had enough. Yellow keeps like, they sometimes break black, they sometimes break red. You kind of got to like, to break the balance, you kind of got to break it all. I believe Manjaro may have just been served a sweet, sweet ad. I watched 50 ads. Dang, that was a long minute, man. Or ads are getting really short, I guess. So yellow, yellow's gonna bot out from the looks of it. Denies me a card, what a jerk. If yellow bots out, like, let me quickly get to know what's going on. I think red and black have a good, a good agreement between themselves. I think. I think I will get third place in this game. Uh, yeah, you might not see ads if you're actually subbed. <laughs> the primary benefit. But then those ad... Ah, oh, man, I love subbing to this guy, but then when he does the ad breaks, I miss all the ads. That's a tough choice you gotta make. All right, so we'll see what yellow does. Is yellow still in the game? All right, something spicy is about to happen. Yellow bots out, I think, is very bad for me. I'll cancel my... No, don't cancel the subs! Ah, the ad time. No! Everyone cancels their subs because then they can't watch the ads. They're missing out. The real experience. Ah. I think yellow botting out is very bad for me. I think these guys will actually get along. And I will die. Can you pause your subscription and double dip for channel support? Look, I mean, I can just, I can serve them to the subs. There's like a button. I can serve, I can serve ads to subs, but you know, some people might have bought them under the impression that they wouldn't be getting ads. But I guess if every sub unites and says, hey, we want the ads, I guess we can do it different. This may now be a stall tactic. I'm not sure yellow's botting out. Stacking in just Japan would progress the game. How? <laughs> Take a poll. Just serve it to, can I serve it to just the subs? I don't think so. Wait, that's kind of weird. Hey Twitch, can you make it so I can serve ads to just subs? 
<laughs> All right, yellow's still around. Ah, uh, it'll progress the game because red will get mad at me and then smash me. Nah, he's too good, dude. Make a secret channel just for ads. So we're, I think we're all just waiting to see what's happening with yellow now. Which is good for these two guys. They're very far ahead. I think the question is, in some endgame, will these two, that I think are good players, I think they'll actually work together to get rid of me. That's what I think will happen. Hey, Twitch, can you only serve ads to people whose name begins with an M? Wait a minute. These guys are going to beef it out. Okay, we're going to win. <laughs> hey, I know this game is super interesting, but do you have any plans for the main channel? I have no plans for the main channel. Two weeks ago, I left my... I keep saying two weeks ago, but it might even be longer at this point. A while ago, I left my job at a well-known chess club. And since then, my interest in chess has been dwindling. And as a direct result, I have not done a lot on the main channel. I'm definitely, for the rest of the kids' school year, going to probably just keep doing the thing that I'm doing. I will not be uploading every Holy Gambit Grail fail to the main channel. I will be trying to figure out what happens now that yellow is gone. Yellow is out of the game. Here's my strategic idea. Progress the game. Whoa! Guy, he decided to play the game. Is he crazy? He's got four cards now. Oh my God. What is he doing? It'll be interesting. So this 163 is going to go up in here. What I want to happen is that the bot just smashes black. Black gets hopeless. Black hates red. Yo, what is black going to do? What is that evil club done to you? Uh, excuse me, no lawyers in the chat. We've been over this. No lawyers, no journalists. I have nothing to say. I use my rights to never speak about anything ever. Black does nothing. Interesting choice. Is red going to win this game? Ah, let's the bot come this way. So the bot could come up and hit the 75 in theory. Let's see what yellow bot does. Yellow, it's sad, actually wanted to progress the game. And I probably could have helped. We, we for some reason, had a problem communicating in a game where I break every alliance, though. <laughs> All the greatest jokes always get banned by the bot. Uh, I, I'll turn in. There's some crazy world in which red kills me because it was possible there. I don't know. How about an alliance? Sure thing, bro. I know we haven't got to attack red. Okay. Somebody communicated with me. This is the first time somebody has communicated with me. I don't know what red will do. This, so, huh. What if, I mean, red could full stack against me. I've actually shown somebody that I'm willing to help them. Wow, but instead they go into this bot. They're going to go try to take South America. But there's a 163 here. Don't hit this. That's a blunder. Wow, we have communicated. 
Now, whatever Black does here, it's not going to be enough for me. We're going to thumbs them down and end the alliance. Whatever Black decides to do, it was not enough. It literally doesn't matter what they do. And he knows it's coming. But maybe Black has cracked the code that he can actually work with me. And now even though he hits red a sufficient amount, we are not satisfied with, even though he hits red like so much, not enough. Thumbs down, break alliance. He might kill me. I should be careful. <laughs> Black might actually kill me for that. Yo, put me back in Japan. Viewer was right. Maybe he just wants North America. Black's so sad. But we finally communicated and we, we did what he said. I think that he... I think that he's going to help kill Red. I think we could work together, despite the fact that I keep breaking. So we have a thing we're doing now. We're, we're attacking Red, right? We're helping our buddy Black. Black is a very strong player. Has dealt with, you know, figured out the situation with Yellow well. Has dealt with me actually well, if you can believe it or not. Get red under 15? Nah. I'm not going to do all these massive attacks that might make people actually mad. Because now that I've broken Asia, red might actually get, you know, bad enough to take me out. I think these guys are actually... Are they going to work? Take yellow and then beat up on me? So black is going to take North America, right? But he's going to leave red alone. I would assume. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we are attacking red. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't thumbs you up, but obviously. But obviously. He's not going to hit the 63. He's too strong. He would never. He loses 49. Okay. All that work that you guys did with having your continents the whole time. All undone with a single click of a button. They both just lost like 50. You remember all those turns of you guys getting a whole bunch from having all those bonuses? Remember that? It's all gone. Black thinks that with this bot on the board, the best place to be is South um, uh, South America. Okay. That's a good, good call. Good call. Obviously, with this bot, the safest place is South America and Australia. Australia being a little bit safer at the moment. And there's going to be this giant bot, like, in the middle, causing havoc. And I don't think there's any incentive for anybody to hit them. Red easily could. Why did this bot stack stay there? This is an expert AI? Goes to show anybody can be an expert these days at just about anything. Why is it the expert? It's not... It's not like a very aggressive bot that is taking over everything. It's kind of curious. Yo, Pete is in the house. You're walking in, Pete, at a very interesting moment. But I'm used to the AI going completely nuts. We are doing, of course, if you're just joining us, the thumbs down end alliance challenge. I have had, I think like five or six alliances with both of these players, but at the end of every turn, if we're allied, thumbs down, break alliance. And we've gotten this far. And we've actually, for the first time, been able to communicate with Black because in between accepting an alliance and the end of their turn when I break the alliance, they have informed me of their desire to attack Red, which we have helped with. And one thing that we haven't done is talked about Pete's voice. That would be rude. Only good things. All right, I guess I'll get a card. I, 
gonna get trapped in Japan if I just stay here. I do not want to be very close to red. But I'll come out. Now, a lot of people... We, we haven't talked about your singing voice. Not this time. But don't worry, only good things about your super amazing karaoke. Sorry, hard to say with a straight face. I mean, Pete's really good singing voice. But I guess a lot of people like your voice over mine. That was the, the topic of discussion. Everyone here wants bigger, better redeems. Look, we're never doing karaoke. <laughs> We'll drink water. What a redeem. We'll run ads for you and we'll drink water. That's that's how far we go around here. That's true. He's got a good point. The people do want it. Otherwise, they wouldn't redeem it. That's why everyone around here... It's actually, like, insanely not true. I think on Twitch you can just put any redeem. I could make the redeem, like, turn camera off, mute mic. Like, they'd still redeem it. You can make it anything. Semi-inspired by Pete, I did exercise for the first time yesterday. Since the pandemic, I used to, I was pretty decent at like the bench. I used to be able to do 300 to 500 push-ups like a day, sets of like 30 to 40 or so. I did 15 push-ups. I'm like, how many can I do? What's my max? Dude, I'm trying to get back and get fit. I could do like 15. I feel so weak, but I also feel good. Because it's time. The pandemic's over. Let's get over it. It's time to get back in shape. All right, what's happening in this game? Still nothing? All right, cool. End stream for 10 points? It would get redeemed. It would make my job easier. I'd be live for less than a minute a day. All right. Yellow bot, go crazy. Are you back? No, you're not back. You were just, the bot had to take a pause here to think. So all my troops are going to get kind of like stuck. I can't use the pandemic as an excuse not to exercise. Not anymore. It's over. It's time to actually, actually do stuff. All right. So the huge bot in between the players. It's pretty bad for me, but we'll continue our policy of, of not doing anything. Yo, now this is a redeem you guys need to know. Such Sweet Thunder redeeming Flex, which does absolutely nothing. But congrats to Such Sweet Thunder for watching that long and just flexing that you could. Just throw in 20k away. Some people would sing for so much less than that around here. People are just throwing points away like it's nothing. Imagine singing for less than 20k when people would pay 20k for like literally nothing. Am I thinking about joining any risk competitions? My understanding is that the world championship, you can sign up in a week. I've never played. I assume it'll be like chess where I like the idea until I do it and then I hate it. But I probably will play one world championship. And then it'll be some god awful atrocious setting. And then I'll be like, well, that was fun. I'm glad we did that once. Wait, black is progressing the game. What's going on? But with all these chess world championships going on, it might be time to get my, my hat in the ring in a game that I could play. So I guess, though, like, the thing that's interesting is you don't know the settings. Like, there's no way to practice. You just sign up and they're like, all right, here's the settings. And then you have, like, a week to practice. That's my understanding. Ah, but I can watch. You should, I get it. You're not helping me. Pete's here to say, yeah, but you can watch all of my videos to get a sense. Make sure you watch all of them. Don't skip a second. I, I hear you, Pete. All right, I'll watch every single one. Now, Pete actually does the most, though, for getting... <laughs> That's not what he meant. Pete actually does the most for getting every... He actually, for some reason, cares. He actually tries to get people to play the game that he likes. It's incredible. Who's the Magnus? I don't think, is there a, con there's no consensus Magnus, right? There's no one Risk player that's like, the Magnus. I definitely think Risk, though, is like, it's growing a lot. I definitely see Risk as one of the categories that, that's popping off. It's growing fast. And a lot of that's because Pete. 
Red progresses the game, possibly breaks the bot. Just kidding. Risk has the scenario that we're going to have in chess when Magnus quits, like for real. There's going to be no one consensus. Yeah, you just hit it, man. Just, just hit it. Chess is going to have a long period of time when Magnus is gone of nobody is the one real best guy. Which means there's room. There's room for you out there to be that one guy. Just play Risk all day, every day. Ugh. We'll see how much longer I take cards. I'll try to... Without... I've noticed how much having alliances progresses the game. I've now realized this is probably the dumbest challenge. It's the basically don't do anything because you can never communicate with anybody challenge. A card! I found it. There's still a card to be had. I'll sit here on five cards? No. Red goes before me. If Red wants me dead, it means it means the challenge is over. <laughs> Look, if Red has had enough, he might even be able to work out a second place with black here. You never know. But he's he's not ready to end it. I actually, I mean, I think these guys are quite decent. I think when we, this challenge would have been much better in like an all noob lobby where alliances don't really mean much because everybody's just slamming everybody. That's just not where we're at. Uh, I could do something. I could run away and go do something. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do something. Magnus has a, a perfect career in checkers. I wouldn't believe it. I don't know what happens if you ask chat GPT, what is, what's like the optimal risk strategy? It probably will tell you, Hey, take continents early. <laughs> Try to use diplomacy. It recommends sowing discord, making alliances and being patient. I haven't sowed very much Discord. I have made alliances. It doesn't say anything about breaking them. All right. We'll see how this impacts decisions. You know what I think would be uncomfortable? I am going to progress this game. You ready for this? How about an alliance from now? It's never been a better time. You have between now, attack yellow. Okay. So I do not communicate. I do attack yellow. And this is what I, this is what I do. Excuse me. I'm going to take North America. I don't think, I don't think black will hit me. I think black will work with me. I think. I'm not sure. All right. I'll go. I'll, I'll try that. I'll just leave some here so yellow doesn't hit me. Do you think black will hit me? I think that if I was just thinking of what would be very the most annoying thing that could happen if you were black, and I thought this would be the most annoying thing. He probably hits me. Black is... He's been nice, though. Now, watch what happens after red's turn. The game that we've been playing, he might resist the urge. <laughs> just the way that we've been playing the game. He's never actually done anything rude to anybody thus far. And I'd like to put him in that position. Now, whatever red does, it's not enough. We're going to break the alliance, no matter what he does. You told me to hit yellow. I don't care if you kill yellow. We still break the alliance. <laughs> uh, he's going to like take Asia. We're going to thumbs him down and he's going to be like, oh, well, he didn't like that. Look, I don't know what to tell you. Here's what I thought of your move. Thumbs down, break alliance. Not the turn I wanted you to do. All right, we'll let black get his cards. <laughs> I think black is actually the strongest player here. Oh no. 
Man, shoot, maybe I should have done that to him. I'm not sure who has the record for most alliances broken. We're at like six or seven for both of these guys. You think that they see the pattern? This is a weird decision by Black. Why didn't Black just take a card? I would have just kept taking cards. Does Black want the bot to get strong or does he want to kill me? <laughs> if only we had Australia, life would be better. All right, hey, hey, you want, look, I know what he wants. It's quite simple. <laughs> what round is this? This challenge definitely is taking longer than I anticipated. It's only around 52. With this bot, I don't think we can really take one of these continents. I think we're kind of drifting ar around for a while. Ooh. All right. Red is going to try to take Africa from the looks of it. If Red takes Africa, maybe I can hold Europe against this bot. And even though we keep breaking every alliance, maybe we could actually work together. He's not going to hit my 47, right? Oh, he's not even staying down here, but he's hitting everything. Wait, so what is he doing? What is he doing? I have no way to like be like, sure, I'll get out your way. Wow. Okay, he's just indicating. He's just indicating. Okay, that's fine. I'll get out. Sure. He wants North America. He's he's waiting for me to go, but I don't communicate with people that are not my ally. All right, we'll get out of his way. If red takes Africa, I might actually be able to hold Europe and defend. <laughs> yeah, if you can't stay, just tune back in tomorrow. This was very unexpected, though, because the bot's going to keep creeping. I'm not sure where Black wants to go. He's following me, but he obviously doesn't want to hit a 47. <laughs> Good news. Food is ready. Okay, so we're letting the bot creep all in here. Black is too strong. If we... It, we won't, but if we fully boxed him in, he'd stand for it. What else could he do? All right, we'll let... All right, we'll see where Black wants to go. There's, still, there's a lot of drama and action happening here. Are there any better challenge ideas? <laughs> I, every other streamer has it right. Just play Risk the way it was meant to be. Interesting. You're going... Wow, Red... Okay, Red sees the power of Australia, wants South America as well. And I guess they're going to put a bunch here to guard against this. But Black's going to get out, and the bot's going to take North America. I don't know. These troops are at risk. It's very possible the bot breaks all of this at some moment. All right, what does Black want? You think Devil Horns would be faster? We should have done that. Oh, yeah. And by the way, every third turn, I'm going to throw up Devil Horns for no reason. That would have made it more interesting. Novice to Grandmaster, but we only go for Australia. Hi. Hello. 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 What? I don't understand. Why are you... Why are you here? What are you doing? Why are you following me? What is Black doing? Why did he put his big stack right next to me? That's kind of intimidating. I don't know what he wants. Lose quickly with this new devil horn strat. I would say that I do not recommend breaking every alliance, thumbsing everybody down. 
All right. A lot of people have left and they're, they're already back. Still the same game? Absolutely. Absolutely the same game. We are not doing this challenge again. So in a way, you're witnessing history. The, the last time anybody will ever do this challenge. Thumbs up and then break alliance? Now that's a completely different challenge. How about an alliance? Sure, you got it. I can't really tell what Black wants. Is Black gonna kill me? Some people like the long games. Some people, it's all they watch for. Imagine you were trying to go to sleep, but the video was only an hour long and you, you couldn't fall asleep yet. You're like, man, I wish I just had another hour so I could get to sleep. Here you go. This is for you. I'm losing so many troops for no reason. Come on, slider. All right. I do, when I get to 200 troops, I do just stop slidering because I'm lazy. But in a way... I'm gambiting those troops so that people think I'm a noob that doesn't know how to slide. I've made, since you started streaming, I've made like homemade bone broth, lentil soup. <laughs> Game's still going. Actual IRL wars don't last this long. What is Black doing? So Black is doing something. I don't like it because he's right next to me. I do not know what he's doing. Now he's getting really far away. He says attack yellow. Oh, did I forget to do something on red's turn? Hmm. I don't, I don't understand what's happening. Did I skip a turn with red? All right, everybody's made their food for the day. Ooh, tough. <laughs> the Roman Empire rose and fell in less time. Yo, Red is getting eaten alive out here. Whoa. Aw, poor Red. Tough. All right. I guess we're just moving around. Here you go. Here's... I, it's sliding. Look, it's impossible, dude, to get that accurately. How many times have you guys listened to this is the song that never ends for a bonus challenge? Put that on in the background. I could do a fake bot strat, but that's doesn't sound like me. See if one of these guys, if I fake bot, one of these guys will hit the other guy. And yet I just won't. Now Black and I are just stuck here. <laughs> We're just stuck here doing nothing. Did I miss Red's turn? I keep missing people's turns, right? There's no way. He already had a turn, right? I can't remember. Whatever he does on his next turn, I don't like it. We'll give him an extra turn because we forgot. Ooh, the always attack twice challenge. Ooh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll take this turn in now if you don't mind. Ah, oh, look at that, I got an easy card. Now the bot will add more to his red because I got a giant stack here. All right. Now the bot will add more. So red better hit this 14 if he wants cards. But the way this is gone, you can kill me now if you want to end this misery, but you're too good. Thumbs down. Break Alliance! I didn't like how you attacked yellow there. I hated that. I hated how you over attacked yellow. I didn't like it. 
<laughs> Is okay. No, not like this. Not like this. You think I can trust Red? Hey, I just thumbs you down and broke the alliance for like the eighth time. Are you cool if I like sit here for a second? What do you think? There's a lot of big stacks in here. There's a lot of big stacks. The problem is everybody is too good. Hey, I got a great idea, guys. Let's play this fun little challenge that we'll do one time. It's going to be so much fun. You guys are going to love this one challenge. I call this one. I call this one the uh, Thumbs Down Break Alliance Challenge. It's going to be so fun, you guys. Well, it's going to take like 60 minutes. Everyone's going to love it. Something funny is going to happen at the beginning or something. We're all going to have a laugh. Ah. All right, I guess we'll keep taking cards. <laughs> Who's got the patience? Who's got what it takes to be the champ here? Black, you know, yeah, I hate red, dude. Ah, okay, he stays away from us. Wait, you're progressing the game. What are you doing? What's the fun in doing? Oh, you're actually going to get a continent. Okay, cool. I guess you're taking South America, right? No? You won't hit the 14 after all that? All right. You can easily take South America, though. Why not actually take this and then defend two borders? All right. <laughs> and you know what's at? This is the optimal spot if red never breaks me. Because red goes before me and he's going to always break the bot right here for a large number. If everyone bots out, does the game count? My understanding is that the answer is no. You can have a ghost game that doesn't really count. Nobody loses or gains anything. Uh -huh. Oh, no, wait. Yellow always goes before me, so it doesn't really matter if red hits them. Uh, I like Siberia. This is cool. All right. We got, we got some gentlemen. All right. You're going to keep hitting 19s, though, right? That's wild. Wow. Are you going to break Europe? Are you ever going to kill me? Yo, what? I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Oh, somebody broke. Wait, hit him, hit him. Ah, we can do it. Win with the thing. Yo, we can do it. So black kills and then gets cards and then slams me for the bot is going to win, right? I get second. The bot wins. <laughs> this is going to be a hard bot to kill. Oh, he's not killing me. What a fool. He is. Oh, he didn't go up and then. Ah, okay. He's not going to hit my stack. He's not going to hit my stack. I'm going to hit his stack. Wait, that's way easier. I like this endgame a lot more than the black rages into me. Red, the real hero. I thought I think black is very strong, though, so I'm actually surprised by this move. But, I mean, what are you going to do when red hits you? Could I kill yellow for... Absolutely not. Okay. All right. Good luck. Oh, you know what I didn't think about at the end? I guess I don't say good game well played. How rude. I'm going to end this game and not say good game well played. That ah, will allow, we'll allow a, a good game well played. I think at the end. Ooh, the bot gets in the way. <laughs> the bot adds in and gets in my way. Thumbs down at the end. At the end of the day, we'll be nice. I've decided just now. We will actually be nice at the end of the game. Uh, can we, I can't believe we might actually win.
with the <laughs> by by thumbsing everyone down and breaking every alliance we've had and we have had many 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 thumbs down well played yo sorry black you're very good i don't need this so I, i'm gonna take my trade in against the bot sorry black honestly a really good game deserving of at least at least second place but it's just not the way the cookie crumbles somehow yellow who honestly yellow was the only one that was doing everything they could to progress the game i forgot to say well played so i guess we won't my apologies to opponent we decided we were rude in the end we were horrendously rude oh, i could hit the 79 but what does a guy like me care oh wait i lose more than them Wait, that's not how that- what happened to attacker's advantage? That's not how that's meant to go. Alright, we should be able to do this. I think we have the skills required to win this. Alright, we will go. Whatever, let's just go down here. Woo! <laughs> the bot only has exactly twice as many troops as me. Piece of cake. We're actually going to win with the thumbs down break alliance challenge. <laughs> this bot is not even aggressive. It's weird. Like it takes continents, but it's not like a, the rampaging psycho bots that you would expect. Not my nine. Come on, guys. Defend a little better. All right. Don't worry. We got a lot of good troops. Hey, my nine. Ah, oh, but you lost nine. Okay, that's fair. So I won't turn in if I don't have to, and I definitely don't. Ugh, but they, they're turning in. All right, let's try the not turn in strat first. You know what? Punch me a seven, maybe the 17 will go the other way. They're at 11, now you're at 10. You know what? We It's important to know what's valuable in life, and that's called Australia, okay? At the end of the day, this was all a very elaborate ploy to take Australia, and I've finally done it. And wouldn't you know it? Guys like Pete out there, he'll be like, you take Australia, you're a noob. Look, the moment I took Australia, I'm like literally winning the game. Like it's literally, it just took a while. It took us like two hours to finally get Australia, but once we got it, the game was like over. The game was literally in the bag. <laughs> if only I could have had Australia from the start, this game would have been 15 minutes long. Can you check what round I'm on? Sure thing. We are on. Exciting round. No, I cannot. I actually don't have the skills. We're on round 66. Yo, can we win on move 69? Can you imagine? It just it took me 69 moves. That's my goal is to win on move 69. Ugh! But I need, I need some better dice than that. I will not give it up. What do I got? I need to win. This is 67, 68, 69. I want to win in three turns, if at all possible. Yeah, this was, you thought, oh, little did you know. You thought this, you thought it was one challenge. It was actually to win on move 69. That was the real challenge. And I'm so close. <laughs> Let's get some Prage in the chat, if you don't mind. Actually, it's going to be hard to win in three turns. I feel like it's going to take longer. All right, we will turn in. We'll take whatever you want. Northern Europe, what do I care? Ah, maybe we can do it. Maybe it's actually not hard. Maybe if we hit way too much stuff, maybe it is hard. Maybe if we can't roll at all. Protect what matters. Wait, two more turns, and they might get a turn in. Why 69? It's just a random number. It, it, there's nothing about it that's interesting or funny. It's just a random, a random challenge. All right, probably if I get to hold four continents, we can do it. Turn 68. I would hate to win on this next turn. I would hate it. All right. We'll, we'll have four, we'll have four continents. That sounds fair. So I don't even, I hope we don't get it. Look, I, this is a 24, we'd have to beat 25. 
I hope we fail. Look, we're, it's good. It's everything is aligning. All of a sudden, it's all alignment. This is a zero percent roll. No, it's twenty eight percent. Never tell me the odds. Ah! All right, we want to win on the next turn. You thought it was a reference to something else? No, it's random. All right, they have turned in for ten. I think that we're gonna win on move sixty nine. Let's see if we can get it done, though. Is this still the same game? Yeah. <laughs> it's literally the same game. Most people can't believe it, but did you know that it is actually possible to win a game of Risk if every time you get an alliance, you thumb someone down, break the alliance? Turns out it does significantly increase the length of the game. But you know what? I'm glad we did it once. I'm glad it worked out once. It's going to it's going to end with a 100% success rate. All right, you guys are always on me about the sliding. Here you go. Here you go. We have to do it on this turn. Here's we're in sliders paradise right now, okay? You guys are going to love this. Oh, the accuracy. The brutal brutal accuracy. Look at this. It took a while, <laughs> but we just won a game of risk. By breaking every alliance and thumbsing every body down. And it only took 69 turns, baby. These guys are good too. Watch how many grandmasters we just played with. This is the world's strongest lobby of all time. Watch this. Novice. Intermediate novice. Black was an expert. Yellow was a beginner. <sighs> Pretty average lobby. Okay, well, I hope you like this challenge because it's never happening again. Please subscribe.